Good morning. <clears throat> Up here in the central of, area of the Bayer Corridor, and I'm here for a very special reason. For quite a few years now, I've been looking for a source of Cape Dwarf chameleons. Unfortunately, uh, there's not that many on the estate, and I wanted to bring them back. Our contractors, I've been talking to them continually, asking them to keep an eye open for a little population. And at last we found one. The guys are doing alien clearing down on the Berg River and they found a small population down there. So we've gone on a bit of a rescue mission because the aliens that they're cutting down will be burnt and we could, in real terms, uh, burn chameleons. Don't want that to happen. So we've gone in, collected some. This is the first group and I'm up here in the bio corridor to re-release them. So we're basically just moving them into another part of their natural habitat. This of course is the Cape Dwarf Chameleon. Very interesting little animals. Everybody knows chameleons change color and you hear a lot of stories about this. Now the Cape Dwarf is actually one of the more colorful chameleons. It's also one of the smallest and they're near threatened which means if things continue as they are, they will be under severe threat. So rescuing them and rehabilitating them back into natural areas is very important. But please, there is an illegal trade in exotic wildlife and especially the Cape Dwarf Chameleon. Don't ever be tempted to buy chameleons or tortoises off people on the side of the road. You're creating that market. Just don't do it. They also don't make very good pets. They're very interesting, I'll give you that. So having a few in the garden, not a problem. But don't try and keep them in captivity, they don't do very well. They feed predominantly on small flying insects, which means that you're going to be pretty stretched to produce enough food for them. So this little group, I've got about 10 in here. We'll release them, they will reproduce, now they're not territorial, so they'll find each other. Interestingly, the females hold the eggs inside their bodies and they can give birth from two to 15 young. So they repopulate an area quite fast. If on your walks, on cycle rides, you do find chameleons crossing the path, just leave them alone. It's always the best thing to do with wildlife is just leave it alone. So yeah, these little guys are gonna get a new home. And the reason why I'm putting them in this section of the corridor, of course, is the vegetation here is very dense. They are highly predated, especially by small raptors, like your fiscal shrike. And so an area of thick vegetation like this will help protect them. So these little guys now <clears throat> are free to do whatever they want to do. And hopefully, I've got the team still collecting, they will get some more and eventually we'll have a very good population on the estate. Okay, thanks for your time and thanks for all the comments. Any questions, please, please feel free to ask and as always we'll try and answer them.